Hello guys, this is YC and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade Double O 144 scale O riser. This is the uh, thing that attaches to the uh, Gundam Double O to form the uh, Double O riser. And this is a this is a yeah, this kit is just for the O riser. Apparently uh, this is kind of a hard uh, kit to come by. Uh, I actually got this kit from a customer named Brian and this is part of his commission. So Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to attach the uh, O-Riser to his other commission, the 007 Sword, to make the 00 uh, Riser 7 Sword, if that even make any sense. Yeah, anyway. That's that. I haven't built this kit yet. I'll be building this soon, after I finish the Unicorn for uh, my other customer, James. Alright, anyway, let's get on to the review. Alright, this kit was released in 2009, May in Japan, and here we have some pictures of the O-Riser. Very nice looking uh, vehicle. The color separation is actually really good, straight out of the box. And uh, yeah, obviously you can take the parts and attach this to the double uh, uh, I know for a fact that it's not going to work with the... Uh, uh, the double diver, the backpack is different and I think the shoulder parts are different. But if you want to do a kit bash, I am perfectly fine doing that. As long as you're willing to pay for more commissions. <laughs> anyway, retail price is 800 yen. I think you can get this kit for around 10 bucks. 10 US dollars. So, there we go. Yeah, this box is very, uh, very small and doesn't like to stand up. Here we have the full sticker, it's not too bad. And here we have the instruction manual. Yes, we all hate this character. This is like the worst character in the history of Gundam. Mr. Saji Crossrow. Why did they even put him in the double, uh, the old riser anyway? Why can't they just use a robot? <laughs> or a computer? <laughs> or better yet, just don't have anything controlling it. Just uh, make it permanent part of the uh, double O. Anyway, here we have some specs, some pictures. Uh, this thing's got the beam, the GM beam machine gun. Also the GM Vulcan, which are here. And yeah, it's kind of weird. It's barely anything, it's just a slot cut into the plastic. And that's supposed to be the GM Vulcan. Hmm, I don't know. Hopefully the real gray has better details <laughs> than the high gray. And uh, here we have the cockpit. The cockpit is supposed to be gray, but I'm just going to leave it white. Unless, uh, Brian, you want uh, me to paint in the details, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, looks like it is actually missing some uh, color uh, on the actual kit. These are all supposed to be gray, but on the kit itself, it's actually just white. We have some full sticker here. Anyway, I'll talk about this in the review. So here's assembly, only two runners and polycaps. And the instructions show you how you can attach this kit to the uh, uh, the double O. Also comes with some uh, extra parts for the double O. You come with this attachment point so you can attach both the GM sword to create, uh, I guess, like a GM lance or something. And then we also have these uh, shoulder parts that can be connected to the GM drive if you don't want to have the old riser attached to that. And I know for a fact this also wouldn't work on the old double old diver. Also can combine this and turn it into shield. Anyway, I'll talk about all that now. <clears throat> anyway, so here we have the parts for the, uh, I guess you can call these GN Katars. Or if you combine them together, you can form the GN shield. Uh, very similar to the, my review on the, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, the double O riser robot damashi kit. <laughs> you can combine this together and turn it into a shield. Like that. It's pretty cool. And then attach to the forearm of the uh, double O. And this can also be attached to the O riser, like so. So, yeah. I This is going to be a two part review. So once I finish uh, building the. Uh, uh, the double seven sword. I'm gonna bring this back to create the double O riser seven sword. And oh boy, how do I get? Okay, there we go. It's very con very simple connection. These uh, winglets on the side does feel kind of loose, but anyway. And here we have the connection piece for the uh, 
uh, beam lens kind of thing. So that's a separate piece. We also have the plug on the bottom uh, when you remove it from the action base. Yeah, or the the regular base. So here is the uh, uh, the parts that needs to be painted. Basically, these gray parts is supposed to be like one solid piece right here. But instead, you know, you can see that these little parts are molded in uh, white. So yeah, you gotta probably paint those the same color as this if you want a proper color uh, <laughs> to match the color. And also, yeah, this cockpit needs to be painted uh, gray if you want it to be accurate to the thing. Although looking at this picture, this part does look kind of look like it's part of. I don't know, but let me know what you want. Anyway, so uh, yeah, just a little vehicle right here. Flies behind the double O and then docks onto it. So basically all you do is separate these parts. You fold this part in like so. This picks into the backpack and these bits go onto the GN drive like that. And that forms the uh, double O riser. <laughs> And yeah, I, I put some decal on it because I think it's kind of plain. Just minimal amount of decal. That's what I usually do for customers, you know, to bring out more detail on kits that have uh, not so much detail. I, I think it's actually, whoops, <laughs> I think it's actually okay on its own, but uh, it, it can still benefit from a little bit extra decals. So yeah it's very nice okay i hope you guys look forward to the uh, 007 sword and the custom 007 uh double riser seven sword that's pretty much it for this review hope you guys find the information helpful thanks for watching <coughs>